The System Junk module in Clean My Mac 3 makes cleaning up all the extra junk on your Mac's operating system a breeze. It knows what to clean and what not to, making it safer than ever for you to have complete control over your Mac. To start, just click Scan. System Junk automatically locates and can safely remove things like language files, logs, caches, broken preferences, and login items to achieve maximum performance and reclaim free space. Once your scan is complete, you first get a summary of the scan results. It includes items that have been smart selected. However, here you can also view the total amount found. In the System Junk module, the files that have been smart selected are system files that neither you nor your system need, making them 100% safe to remove. You can then proceed with an automatic one-click cleanup. Or, if you want to take a closer look, just click on Review Details, which gives you a complete breakdown of the items found. For example, app-specific language files, which give your apps the ability to operate in multiple languages. But do you really need 10 plus languages for every app installed on your Mac? Probably not. User cache files are intended to improve startup time by caching application data. Sometimes they accumulate too much junk and result in improper app functioning or an overall drop in performance. OS X localizations, which are similar to app-specific language files, but apply to the apps built into the Mac operating system. System log files that are only helpful if you are super techy and need to debug your default Mac apps. iOS photo cache. What's that? Well, after you sync photos with any of your iOS devices, some photos stay cached on your Mac. This data only wastes space after the sync is done. User log files, which are similar to system log files, but are left over by third-party apps you install. Universal binaries, which come bundled together with applications. These files allow applications to run on older Mac machines. Your Mac doesn't need those, so why keep them around? System cache files that eventually become outdated and begin to pile up on your Mac, resulting in decreased performance and wasted space. Files left over on your system from previously uninstalled apps. Development junk, which is a group of support files that are created when installing an app. These files should be, and typically are, removed after installation. However, sometimes they can hang around. Broken preference files that can cause major problems with your apps. Deleting these broken files can often make your apps operate correctly again. And lastly, broken login items. These are basically mentions of previously installed applications in your system's list of apps to launch at system startup. Note that if you're sure you will never want to remove a particular item or file, you can always add it to Clean My Mac's ignore list, and it won't be revealed in the scan results ever again. To do this, right or control click a file and select Add to Ignore List from the contextual menu. Once you're satisfied with what's selected, simply click Clean and let Clean My Mac take care of the rest. When you're all done, you can view a log of all the items that were removed, or go back and review items that were left in case you need to free up some more space. Enjoy a clean, happy Mac. See what Clean My Mac 3 can do for you. Download the free trial today and check out our other videos for more detailed information about each module.